So as you can see in the title, today is another Snapchat Q&A and today I'm bringing it to you guys from beautiful Florida. Now it is like 8, 15 p.m. right now. So I am hoping to get this done before the sun sets because I don't need to be refilming this or filming this in the dark. So let's go with question number one. Max asks, how do you get vascular biceps? Honestly, to get vascularity in any sense, you need to be relatively lean or have a low percentage of body fat. A lot of vascularity is also pretty genetic. So like somebody like me, for instance, unless I am like very, very lean, it's gonna be hard for me to have like vascularity. Um, it's just, um, part of it is genetics, but another even larger part is just on your body fat percentage. Next question, Latasha says, are you ever coming home? Well, I came to Florida on Monday of last week. It is Tuesday of this week now. And I originally had my flight plan for Saturday. I missed my flight and then I scheduled another one for Monday um, and I canceled that flight, pushed it back to Wednesday and um, we'll see when I come home. I'm not sure if I'll actually come home on Wednesday or if I'll just push it back to Friday, but Friday would be the latest that I would come home. Um, but yes, I will eventually go back to Indiana, even if it's just for a short period of time. I still have my TV and my PlayStation there and my car, so I, I do have to go back. All right, Justine Mitzdarfer says, train legs today or train legs tomorrow? Well, I had legs originally planned for today and I put them off until tomorrow. So don't do what I did, train legs today. Always, the answer is always train legs today. Cause then it's done, you don't have to do it tomorrow. Next question, Rocky XQ8 says, hey Treg, what's up? Do we really need four more Avatar movies? Also, what are the fastest ways to drop weight and what do you think of detox? Keep it up bro and good luck. I think detox is great. Um, I think it's very important to kind of flush out the toxins that are inside your body every once in a while. Um, what are the fastest ways to drop weight? Just being a caloric surplus unless you just want to like starve yourself. Um, but no, I don't recommend that. Uh, just being a caloric surplus, find your maintenance level and then count your macros and be in a deficit. I think I was saying surplus. No, being a caloric deficit. Um, and do we really need more, four more Avatar movies? No, I don't even think we need one more. I was content with the first one. Plus, then it frees up uh, James Cameron to do other stuff like a Terminator sequel that we desperately need from him. Sage says, when do you think you will collab with John from the Flick Pick again to make another workout video? Well, um, I'm currently here in Florida in the midst of finding a new home. Um, he moved from Indiana to South Carolina. So both of us are kind of like in transitional periods. So I'm not saying it would be anytime soon, but maybe once I'm settled down and he's kind of like, uh, I don't know, found. I think he just moved into a new home actually. So um, he's a little bit more settled down than I am. I'm just, I'm still looking for a place. But I would probably say not anytime soon, but definitely in the future sometime. Justin Oreskovich says, Q&A, hey man, what do you think of the Kingsman 2 trailer? It's my most anticipated movie of the year. Kingsman 2 trailer was awesome. I really enjoyed it. I think they gave away too much from the movie, but uh, nonetheless, I really did enjoy the trailer. I thought it was a lot of fun. And Matthew Vaughn made a friggin' phenomenal movie um, with Kingsman 1, so I'm very excited for Kingsman 2. Photo Heaven 23 says, how much can you bench? Uh, the last time I actually maxed out, I got 280, um, and that was like a year ago, so uh, I have no idea. Iron Sunga says, how do you do squats without it hurting your neck and traps? Um, you just gotta get used to it. Uh, build up your neck and traps, uh, do deadlifts, um, do shrugs, do different things that are going to help kind of build up your traps, build up your rear delts so it doesn't hurt when you're actually squatting and you have that bar there. Ricky Dicky Wood says, Snapchat q and I went from 130 kilograms fat to 120 kilograms after four weeks of dieting, then Stardex weights at the gym and gained three kilograms in a week. Still not the same diet, is that normal or not? Cheers, love the channel. Well, I'm not familiar with kilograms. We use pounds here in the great United States of America. But uh, nonetheless, um, 
I think him gaining three kilograms in a week with still the normal diet, uh, I would say that is relatively normal because your body weight will fluctuate to an extent. So it might just be his sodium levels are a little bit higher or uh, he's retaining water. Many different things go into just a slight fluctuation like that. So uh, don't sweat it and just stay consistent. All right, next question. Billy It Conan says, what is your most and least favorite exercise to do in the gym? My favorite is deadlifts and my least favorite is bench press. I hate bench, probably because I suck at it. Um, I'm really not that good at deadlifts either, but I feel like I'm progressing very well with deadlifts, whereas bench, I'm not. Um, so, yes. And, oh shoot, he has two questions. Let me replay that real quick. Okay, his second question was, what countries have you been to? Greetings from Finland. I've never been out of the country. I'm not very cultured, sorry. Next question, Taylor Jones says, I've recently started working out and went from 315 to 300, thanks to you. Well. No, that's all you, that's all you, um, congrats. So thank you and I was wondering, what are some good core workouts for overweight people? Your videos give me inspiration and motivate me to keep going. I would say um, start out with just like your main, um, your main three lifts. Do some deadlifts if you can, um, do some squats if you can, and bench press. And then on top of that, make sure you're staying active. So like walking every day, um, just doing different things that are going to build up a healthy body and then once you kind of lost the body fat then kind of working a little bit more with targeting your core with like ab exercises then I would recommend that but first start out with just like um, some lighter deadlifts um, and squatting and benching just get those big three um, kind of incorporated into your workout and then you can kind of go from there next question Jacob says CrossFit. I don't care for it personally, but I just want to know what you thought. All right, Jacob asked what my opinion on CrossFit is. I'm not a huge fan of it myself, um, but I think if it's an activity that gets you into the gym and gets you active and gets you in shape, then it's a it's fantastic. I mean, there's nothing wrong with anything that's going to help you be active and be healthier. So if CrossFit's the way like that you are active, fantastic. But like. In my opinion, I think CrossFit a lot of times sets people up for injury um, due to some kind of unnecessary aspects of it. However, if it is what gets you in the gym and it's what you enjoy, by all means, go for it. Next question, Michael Mahip, it says, I just started deadlifting and I was wondering, what is the best way to get the form down? Also, what lean muscle protein do you use? I use Cellucor's uh, Core Performance Whey Protein, but I have a tub of P Science that was sent to me. Um, at home two weeks ago, but I've been in Florida for a while, so um, I need to try that, but currently I'm just taking Cellucor's, and if you start deadlifting, what's the best way to get your form down? Uh, start light, and make sure, maybe if you record yourself, it might help. Um, watch a lot of YouTube videos, watch other people that are experienced at deadlifting, keep your back straight, and pull through your hips. Um, make sure you're sitting back, and I feel like if you can get your form down, you're gonna be set, but make sure you don't try to eagle lift and you start light. That way you can kind of critique different things without necessarily like ruining an entire day by having a super high deadlift with bad form and then trying to like cut it down to like 135 so you can work on that form. So um, start light and watch other people and keep your back straight. All right, next question. Mark Marchetti says, do you change programming after being injured long term? Uh, yes and no. Uh, I changed my programming in the sense of a lot of my weights, a lot of the weights that I use, and sets will kind of be um, definitely less. However, like my same workout routine, I'm still going to be doing. It's just I might avoid some lifts. Like say I hurt my lower back, I'm probably going to stay away from like back squats, stay away from deadlifts. But I'm still going to be doing like push pull legs, shoulders, abs, different things like that. I'm still going to keep up with like my like my split however my programming with my sets my reps and my weight might fluctuate a little bit uh, depending on the injury next question William says yo Treg in case that other guy doesn't ask have you watched Spirit in a way uh, that's funny um, no I haven't I suck I said I was gonna watch it at the end of my last Q&A and I even have a reminder set on my phone that I set on camera and it still goes off every single day saying that I've like I've gone past my like due date 
of when I said I was gonna watch it and it literally I see it every morning when I wake up because I have not reset that reminder and I haven't fulfilled that reminder so I need to watch it Nick Morgan says what kind of car do you have I have a 2008 Dodge Charger it is white and I like it. Um, it's currently at home because I rented a car down here. I'm currently driving a 2012 Jeep Patriot, but um, I like my Charger much better. Wow, it's getting dark. That's as bright as it's gonna get. Dylan Faith says, when are you making a vid with the flick pick again? I already kind of answered that. We're both kind of in transitional periods right now um, with me kind of like going from Indiana to possibly Florida or somewhere else, um, him going from Indiana to South Carolina, so we're both kind of in transitional periods, so it's hard to say when we're gonna make another video again. Jack the Great 98 says, yo Trig, what's some advice on upping your squat and deadlift weight? Do it more often, increase the frequency. Also, gotta ask my annual question, did you watch it yet? I think you probably know what movie I'm talking about. Haha, <laughs> hope all is well, man. Keep up the awesome content. I'm probably like your biggest disappointment, aren't I? Like, sorry Jack, I suck, I'm sorry. I have not seen Spirited Away, I'm sorry. I will watch it, I promise. And I've said that for like a year, but I promise. Maybe I'll download it and I'll watch it on the plane ride home on Friday, or Wednesday if I go home tomorrow, but probably Friday. Andrew G says, what's up Treg? Huge fan of your videos, thank you. What is your favorite exercise besides squatting on leg days? And what is your favorite bulking meal you make at home? My favorite bulking meal I make at home, I don't really make food. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, every once in a while, I'll make like tuna helper and I can smash a box of tuna helper. I love that. And the caloric, <laughs> the calories are high on that. So I would say my favorite thing to make would probably be tuna helper which is kind of crazy but like my favorite bulking meal is obviously pizza um, but the, my favorite thing that I actually make is tuna helper oh and oh I lost your other question uh, what was it oh my favorite exercise on leg day minus squats I would say leg extensions superset with bodyweight squats I love that superset you got to try it all right, so last question, H Munoz underscore 18 says, Hey Treg, I'm trying to get lean and strong, so what is good to work out the same muscle groups twice a week? So is it good to work out the same muscle groups twice a week and have one heavy day and one lightweight day? Thank you for that question. That is a good one to end on because that is exactly what I do. Even when I'm bulking, I have a heavy day and I have a lightweight, a lightweight day, excuse me. So towards the beginning of the week, I'll have my heavy day. I'll do push-pull legs, and on those three days, I'll do, for my push day, I'll do heavy bench. My pull day, I'll do heavy deadlifts, and my leg day, I'll do heavy um, squats. And then I'll do, um, I'll switch after I do like a shoulder or an ab or an active rest day in between. And then the next three, my next push-pull legs will be lighter weight for more repetitions. Um, not necessarily like more repetitions, but like eight to 12, because I'm focusing more on like three to five when I'm doing heavier weight. And if you're really trying to like get stronger while you're getting lean, it's gonna be extremely difficult unless you are right there teetering on your maintenance levels and you're in a very, very slight surplus or deficit, but it can be done. I actually sometimes do get stronger, uh, especially with my squats because when I'm cutting, I always lower my rep schemes because I'm not trying to like burn through that muscle. A lot of people have that misconception that if you're dieting or you're kind of cutting and you're in that deficit, you wanna be doing high reps so you lose that weight faster. Well, you're just burning through your muscle. So if you lift heavy while you are cutting and you're in a deficit, you're gonna be much better off because you're gonna be forcing those muscles to be firing, to be active and to work and to stick around while you're in a deficit. So um, that's, my que or that's my answer for that question, which is the last question. It's dark, the sun is almost down, but this Q&A is wrapped up. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like the video, like the video. If you haven't subscribed, go hit that red subscribe button. And if you're not following me on Snapchat, so you can participate in the next Snapchat Q&A, 
follow me on Snapchat, just at Trek Fisher right here. It's also going to be in the description box down below. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.